As you may recall, or if you have seen Baby Nessie and Animal Planet, we've actually been on a few different shows for their unique ability to get through any fence and destroy it like it was nothing. Right, Nessie? So when they broke out of their big pasture, um, I'll put a link to the video, I had to get um, a heavy gauge stud pen for them until I had the means to not only physically but financially restore their nice big pasture. This gauge and this quality would normally be used for a stud or a horse that otherwise needed some extra heavy duty stuff going on, um, maybe even for cattle. But have you ever seen anything like this? Because Baby and Nessie have destroyed another fence in a way I honestly never thought possible. They have turned a rather large round pen that I don't even want to say how much money I spent on it into a triangle pen. Nessie. Nessie. You like triangles? You know, I heard camels do math. But this is just incredible to me. Uh, camels are so, so strong. I mean, this shape, it's not even a shape. It, look how they've bent. And he's like, yeah, I like it bent. It, uh, just by leaning over, I mean, the whole pen is completely destroyed. This is what, baby, maybe like your seventh pen you've destroyed? Like, I'm not counting. I don't have to pay for it. But the way these bars are bent down, and clearly they're leaning their necks over it. But, um, the fact that they're able to do that is incredible. And the round pen, or triangle pen as it is now, it was not cemented down which was my fault, obviously, a mistake on my part. Hamels are just so smart. He started testing it and found that this new type of fun pen was just as easy to get out of as this one. And I'm gonna cut here and I'll show you what their pasture looks like now that I'm desperately trying to get them back in because camels do not belong in stalls, in round pens. That might be okay for a horse, but uh, camels are far more intelligent and they do not belong in enclosed areas. Horses are domesticated and accustomed to stalls and it is not uh, detrimental to their health mentally and physically as it is a camel. And over here we have what used to be a gate, but no longer resembles anything that would have made me think it was a gate if I didn't... <laughs> I, 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 I seriously don't even know. It looks like some horrible, like, booby trap, like, out in the jungle that, um, I guess doesn't work since they're able to get out of it. So, there was a giant gate here, they got through that, um, I kind of jerry-rigged this. It, it, it was a little better looking at the time when I did it. Um, I, I spent a lot of time on it, went like full bridge on the river Kwai, but it, it just, it was just no match for them. Um, and even uh, what's recommended for Campbell's, which is a hot wire fence, a baby is so smart that it doesn't seem to matter where I put it. He'll find the lead line, he'll drag it over, and he'll smash the box. Now, come look at this. This is the rest of the fence. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how destructive camels are 
on fences, but I will continue to try. Uh, something to keep in mind if you're considering getting a camel. Otherwise, it's just kind of an interesting fact. Over here, you can see the top line of how high it's supposed to be. Let's trip there. Right there, and this would be um, hot. And when it's hot, it, it works very well for them. Uh, but the problem is, baby is so good at turning it off at just that right moment. And I have monitors on it to let me know when it goes down. But, I mean, he does it so quickly, so methodical. And look at this nice big pasture they could have. And they've, they've been stuck in that round pen for so long. I literally like it pains me to even interact with them because though they don't show any signs of boredom behavior, um, any kind of repetitive behavior, pacing, distress of any kind, they kind of seem just content as long as you keep feeding them. They're happy, but there's no way they're getting the enrichment and just quality of life that they got in this huge, huge, huge pasture. It, it's just been way too long. I, I hope to get it back up soon, but it's so hard doing things yourself. Momentary starfish. She's on the prowl for lizards. Sugar Tree used to be a queen of lizard patrol. She's got some competition here. Their pasture is so nice. I mean, it, it is literally why I picked this property. I put them first over everything else, and it just pains me not to see them in it. But, you know, give them some food, and they might as well be in a box. At least a baby. Uh, I took that pen down that they had triangled, and um, I, I just took it down around him. I was kind of worried he'd walk off. So I gave him a bunch of hay. I took down his triangle one night and he literally didn't move. I just built it better around him while well, he just stood there and ate. He, he could have walked away. He could have gone back into his pasture. He could have gone anywhere. He could have booked tickets to Mexico. And he just stood there and ate and ate and ate. I'm going to be sexist and say typical male, a typical male camel. Look at this baby right now is bending <laughs> this panel back just because he wants to eat some of this mesquite tree. And um, last time I fed him was actually 10 o'clock at night, last night. Um, it's like maybe... 6.45 to 7.15 right now and uh, when I first came out here they were still eating hay. Uh, they, have, they have none on the ground that I see right now but um, they just can't wait. They have to be eating constantly, constantly. And that's just not baby and Nessie, that's, that's camels in general. Oh... That sponge is so crazy. I call her Sponge. It's her nickname. I'm gonna turn this off and um, feed them. I don't know if I'll record anymore or if how much of this I'll upload or if I'm will upload it at all. I'm so tired. I hope I made sense. And there goes the school bus. The kids always wave to the camels. It's really sweet. Time for some fly spray. Hey babes. Babes. Do you want to say bye? Babes. Babes. Baby. Baby. Hi, say bye. Ooh, you give me kiss. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Yes. One more thing I'm going to say. Camels are just so wonderful. They really have been the light of my life. They're just such wonderful, beautiful animals. And it just 
kills me to think of how they're treated and um, how dangerous they do get and how ill-tempered they do get because of the way others treat them. Right, babes? All right, let's get some food in you before you lose your mind.